I remember him saying that he was more proud of the fact that I played for England than him flying over fucking Paris. Oh, I mean... I love that man. I know he loved me. You know, I don't know why he chose me. I'm glad that he did. He was the one who taught me about Jimmy Greaves and making sure when you finish, Ian, when you're going through with the goalkeeper, look for the space, score beautiful goals. But he gave me responsibility. I mean, I used to collect the registers from the teachers. Then they made me milk monitor. I really liked that and, you know, I looked What was up. that like for the kid who couldn't sit still? Well, it was really good. I, I just felt important. He wouldn't let me play football if he'd heard that I've been naughty in class. He just gave me a sense of feeling like I, I had some use. You know, it was really weird because the viral video that went around... Where yes, people... in 2010, you were reunited with him mm. and that video clip online's been viewed over two million times. You had thought that he had yeah. passed away. You'd been told incorrectly. Couldn't, yeah, couldn't find him. I was doing a television show and there was a bit in it where I had to go back to the ground and just sit in the director's box. And so I was sitting there in a reflective moment and then... He just came off my right shoulder. And I'd said to him, oh, my gosh, I thought, I thought you died, I thought you was dead. And he said, well, I'm very much alive, Ian, something like that. And then he said, how proud he is of me. And then I hugged him. And because he was three or four steps up, I felt like I was, like, seven again. I remember him saying, uh, you know, because he was one of the youngest pilots in World War II. And when we won the war, he was one of the pilots chosen to do the flyover of Buckingham Palace, right? So I remember him saying that he was more proud of the fact that I played for England than him flying over Buckingham Palace. Oh, I mean... I love that man. Gosh, man, I'm so sorry to people who are listening. I'm just turning into this bumbling, crying guy. But They'll all be crying with you, Ian, don't worry. When he said that, he, he changed my life just by recognising, I don't know what it was when I was standing outside that classroom, that I needed more, and and he gave it to me. And, you know, to be able to unveil his plaque at Turnham Junior School was the greatest thing that I've ever done in my life, to be honest. It's the greatest man in the world.